Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really happy to, to commit for another couple of years uh, to the club till 2024. Um, and hopefully I can sort of keep progressing at this club. Um, I don't feel there's a better club for me to be able to, to progress my career at and keep getting opportunities. So hopefully I get lots more opportunities in the future. And does it say a lot to the fact that you've been given a two year extension here as well? Yeah, I think it shows obviously it's a really nice uh, really nice to be able to sign that length of contract um, and I think it shows that the faith that Matty has in me as a player um, so hopefully I can repay him in the future with some good performances. And you're one of our own that's been here since under nine level as well does that make it a bit of a no-brainer for you to sign that contract? Yeah of course I mean I've grown up around the area and I've always supported Exeter so um, it made it a very easy decision for myself and um, like I say it's, it's a really good club to be at as a, as a young professional and um, to get lots of opportunities so yeah it was, uh, it was an easy decision for myself. Now as well, coming from the academy, is it important that you really seize this opportunity that you've been given? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've had more of a taste of, of being more of a regular this season in League Two level. So um, that's made me hungry for more. And like I say, hopefully I'll get more opportunities in the, sh in the future to show what I can do. What do you think you've learnt from your time in the first team this season as well? Um, just the, 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 physical, like the physicality of League Two football. Um, it's, it's sort of a step up than what I've had when I've been out on loan in previous seasons, etc. and things like that. So. Um, and just sort of trying to be consistent in your performances, um, putting in sort of like good performances on a regular basis to, to keep getting picked by the manager. You seem to have slotted in pretty seamlessly as well alongside the likes of Tim and that as well. Um, I mean, do you think your academy upbringing has sort of enabled you to be more prepared for League Two football? No, definitely. I mean, I can't praise the staff high enough that have coached me and all the coaches, etc. that have helped me come through. Um, sort of through under 16s when you're a scholar and, and 18s as well. Um, they really try and prepare you for sort of, the, like I say, the physicality of the game and, and what it's going to be like and on a mental side as well. So, yeah, they've helped me massively to, to be ready to be able to showcase what I can do at the first team. You join Archie, Jack and Alex in signing new contracts over the last couple of weeks as well. I guess that says a lot about how much faith Matt has in his the academy products and, you know, the younger players. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it shows like the trust they have in us younger players and hopefully they see that we're sort of the future of the clubs and, and the players that can um, that can, like I say, can play in the future for the club. So um, no, it's like it's a really good, it's really nice to be able to see sort of other other academy products as like me signing new contracts. So um, yeah, hopefully long may it continue. And how much do you owe your success and where you are now to to your time in the academy and the numerous coaches that you've worked with? Yeah, I mean, like I say, it's, it's, I've been there since under nine, so it's been sort of 11, 12 years. So I mean, I owe so much to, to the coaches that have helped me. All the different coaches throughout the age group helped me progress and develop. Um, and obviously a big, big shout out to my parents as well for driving me to training and things like that. It was a big commitment whilst I was at school, but um, things like that sort of don't go unnoticed and they were really important to help me get where I am today. You've been in and around the training ground for quite a few years now, I guess yourself, you probably really welcome the news that the club is looking to redevelop this place. I mean, you've seen probably it get at to, to its worst stage over the last couple yeah. of years in terms of space and, you know, the quality of buildings. No, I mean, it's like you say, it's, it could do with a, a bit of work on it at, at some point. Um, I think it's only going to help the club develop. I think it's going to be better facilities for the players to be able to do what they need to do. And um, I think it's sort of be able to attract more players as well with a, with a better training ground, like I say, of more facilities for the players as well. Um, and you've had loans, key loan spells over the last couple of seasons, namely at Taunton and Dorchester. I mean, how important have they been to your development and preparing you for, you know, the rigours of first team football? Yeah, for sure. I mean, sort of coming out of under 18s football, it's, it's a completely different different game to, to being in men's football. Um, physically, it's like a lot more demanding playing against older players that are of more of a physical stature. So those sort of loans helped me massively into getting regular game time, which was the main thing. Like I say, sort of building myself up physically to, to be ready for League 2 football. Um, and this season, scored your first goal in front of fans at St James Park. I guess that must have been a proud moment for you and your family. Yeah, no, a really proud moment. Obviously, it's been a long time that I've been at the club for. Um, and it was a really good performance on the day. And to be able to score in front of our home fans at uh, SJP was like was a really nice feeling. And hopefully there's there's many more to come. And just finally as well, um, you've been, you know, you've had some starts this season. Then you spent a bit of time out, outside of the team. I mean, what are your personal aims for the rest of the season? Um, hopefully to keep getting regular game time. Um, and when I do get game time, to be able to show the manager why I should be starting. Um, and just try and stake a claim in the side to be able to, to start more regularly and play more games.